My name is Jeremy Miller. I'm the president of Inspired by Media, the chief marketing officer of IdeaVise, and the director of digital media at Snapshift. The best piece of advice I ever got was follow my strengths and stick to what I was best at. As a young entrepreneur, or even as an entrepreneur in general, or even just as a normal person, there's so many opportunities, so many things out there that you can spend your time wasting. And if you're trying to do these eight or nine different things, you're not ever gonna be productive. You're gonna be busy, but you're not gonna be productive and accomplishing things. Learning how to be self-aware enough to where you know what your strengths and weaknesses are, you know what your capacity is, and knowing your limit and once you know your limit, being able to say no, 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 and saying yes to just a few of those things that'll be most beneficial to you and what you're actually trying to achieve and your why. Because if you're not following your why, not, if all the things that you're trying to achieve isn't trying to serve your why, then you're just gonna get all over the place. So when I was a young kid, I was abused. And when you get abused, that really sets you apart in a lot of different ways. It really messes you up psychologically. It really sort of deters your self-confidence and the purpose and, and the, 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 the hope and the meaning that, that you give to yourself. And so the best way to you know, give yourself hope and the best way to um, you know, find meaning in life is, is Jesus Christ, number one. But second is finding your purpose and being able to serve other people. I went on this, this course at the age of 15 years old after I um, you know, started to really understand my, who I was as a person. By 16 years old, you know, I, I got saved, and, and so I was leaving the world of drugs and, and sex and alcohol at a really young age. And so, overcoming that dark world that I was in, that I was constantly trying to, you know, make myself feel happy. Well, at its core, depression is when you don't feel significant, you don't have any hope in your life. So I sort of fell in love with the concept of serving others because number one, it was therapeutic to save my life and number two, it's really enjoyable to serve with people. So I admired a lot of the people in my life who I saw were always happy who and who had peace and who were serving others at a high level because I, I believe in, in dreaming big, right? I believe in sort of the big picture and those people in my life who were big big thinkers and they're doing big things who are serving people and they're happy and they had peace they were all entrepreneurs and so i fell in love with the concept of entrepreneurship i started my first business uh, mowing lawns around my neighborhood um you know make a couple hundred bucks here and there the first company that i started was called void lawn boards um you know a bunch of high school friends just making long boards for people um that company ended up failing by august of 2016 i started a marketing agency just posting and you know, running and managing basic social media for a couple companies, but it all goes down to the foundation of serving other people and using our skills as advertisers and marketers to help businesses help their goals and help them do what they're trying to do because that in turn serves communities and serves people, that sort of thing. My advice to someone, even if they're not an entrepreneur, is knowing that's okay to fail. After I failed and sort of like regrounded myself and talked to people, I was like, wait, that wasn't so bad. It's not like I have these scars that are gonna be seen all my life. I just gotta get through it and move to the next day. Your life is now. I'm not promised another 50 years and so I don't spend my time a lot of, I, I don't spend a lot of time wasting um, you know, my efforts and my energy. And so I realized like today is the day that I have and I'm grateful for that and I appreciate that. So I'm gonna make the best of today.